This video is sponsored by Royalty Hair Care. Introduce yourself to luxury with our five-part mega growth system consisting of our shampoo and conditioner set, foaming wrap mousse, edge control, and our best-selling stimulating growth oil. The link is in the bio. Welcome back Royals to Beauty File 2024. Today guys, I'm excited about this video because we're gonna be styling up the formal dining area. Now, if you have been privy to see my previous shopping haul, shame the plug if you haven't, go back and watch that shopping haul because it gives the details on how I was inspired to redesign this entire space. So if you wanna see how I decked out this space for this Beauty File styling series, sit back, relax, and let the decorating begin. All right, guys, as with any design, we're going to start with a clean slate. I am going to bring in that fall look and feel with changing of wall art. In this video, I want to share with you just really quick tips that you can use to bring in any vibe or feel for any season. So we're going to do a little bit of a no-cost switcheroo here. I picked up this artwork from Amazon and I absolutely love the fall hues that it will bring into this space. It ushers in all the colors that will be used to create this design. I love that it flows beautifully with the window treatments that are from Tahari Homes. I picked them up from Home Goods and to usher in that signature pop of color, guys, here comes that whiskey colored centerpiece. I have these picks from Hobby Lobby I've had for a number of years and I have them styled inside of this latest find of mine. It's a vessel from home goods and the beautiful hues of chocolates, ambers, and a beautiful mercury glass or mirrored glass is absolutely gorgeous and perfect to bring in that touch of glam to my otherwise Parisian style. So this guy sets the tone for the entire look and feel of this space. I originally styled it in an ivory and gold design. It was beautiful, but this just felt like something was missing to me. And once I saw my signature piece, which I'll share with you in the next segment, it absolutely came together beautifully. So here sets the stage for the entire look. Another tip guys, and as opposed to your tablescape itself, your centerpiece or your centerpieces should be able to stand alone on the table and look absolutely exquisite. And so here I have these beautiful leopard print pumpkins I picked up from Joanne several seasons ago. I absolutely love them and they will be a staple in my home for the fall season many, many years to come. So to complement them and to create a nice little pumpkin patch or glamorous pumpkin patch on either side of the centerpiece, I have these beautiful pumpkins I picked up from Home Goods several seasons ago with that detailed glass or mirrored dimpled glass and a beautiful brass stem work is absolutely exquisite. I love these pieces. And to round out the trilogy of each setting, guys, I have two strategically chosen pumpkins one says grateful and that ivory and gold again is going to pull in those color hues of the design and the last one says blessed now i know that it is a quintessential saying of grateful thankful blessed and i'll show you how with a little bit of attention to detail you can bring in any theme and so here i have this beautiful thankful sign from hobby lobby and a beautiful brass color that again pulls in the hues of this setting so on the table set itself you have grateful thankful blessed and you'll see that theme repeated throughout the look again it's all about the details guys so this beautiful centerpiece stands alone but how gorgeous are these leaf placemats i picked up also from hobby lobby a couple of seasons ago i love them and they were original to the first tablescape they definitely usher in that fall look and feel very very pretty with the laser cut out details the leaves i have place strategically so that they fall in different places as if leaves were falling from a tree. I want to create the perfect balance of organic and glamorous design in this styling. So I have every one of them placed in different positions. And I absolutely love the leaf detail of this, but guys, what's better than the gold leaf is when I stumbled up on these absolutely stunning bronze or whiskey colored leaves in the same design also from the robert stanley collection of hobby lobby hobby lobby for the win on this look for the season i absolutely love the depth that this whiskey pattern or color brought into the space it was missing just that something like i said the golden white was pretty but it just wasn't standing out enough and i love just as i'm editing the depth that that is bringing to this design same technique here guys i'm using an organic layout if you would of the mats nothing is symmetric nothing is 
pattern is just really an organic flow to the placemats. I love doubling up placemats to create interest to my designs. It gives visual appeal as well as texture to the eye and I love 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 the way it is looking so far so now let's move on to the next phase the next layer of luxury if you would I have the placemats just strategically placed and so now we're going to bring in another layer guys these beautiful placemats I picked up from Dollar Tree of all places. I love the dental detail on them. I've used them for my event styling as well as my personal home styling and they are absolutely perfect for any glam or just any pop of metallic that you want to bring into your design. It's not a brassy gold. It's just a nice beautiful subtle hue of an antique gold and I love the detail of it. But to my captain's seats, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to bring in another gold hue, but just a different design. And how beautiful are these dental details with the scalloped edge placemats chargers? These are actually from Hobby Lobby. It's all about building layers of textures and interest to this design. So now that we have the placemats in place, guys, let's bring in the first dinner set. I absolutely love this set, guys. It's the infamous pumpkin set from Home Goods. I've had it for about five years now, and I would love to get my hands on another set, but because I don't have a setting of eight, we're gonna do the mix and match. You guys have seen me do this since I've been styling on this table, and it has definitely amped up my creative juices in that it allows me to be creative and creating different looks using multiple settings for each season. So I have the pumpkin dinner plates in position and so now to complement that guys how perfect is this set also from home goods and it has the leaf detail around the edges again perfect for the fall season perfectly blends in with the color scheme and it's just a nice combination that doesn't compete with the pumpkin dinnerware but it absolutely complements it so you see how i'm building on layers of layers of fall perfection in this design so now we have the dinner plates in place. So now let's bring in the coordinating captain's plates. Guys, I have this beautiful set of plates. Just two of them from Hobby Lobby. Guys, I love the font on these. They repeated this design a few seasons ago, but the font was slightly different. And I absolutely love this formal gold detail inside. And they say grateful, thankful, blessed. Again, picking up the details of what's on the centerpiece with the pumpkins. It's all in the details, guys. So we have those in place. And so now that gives the foundation for the entire tablescape. Now we're just going to keep layering on the luxury. In comes the salad plates to those beautiful pumpkin dinnerware. I absolutely love the detail here. But as opposed to placing them with its matching dinner plate, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to lay the pumpkin salad plate on top of the leaf dinner plate. Again, creating more interest and details in the looks but every setting will complement each other oh i love how this is coming together absolutely beautiful and now bringing in the leaf salad plate we're going to lay that on top of the pumpkin dinner plates it's all about the mixing and matching and guys as i'm editing this i am absolutely loving it even more i love when i just get that little spark of inspiration and it can come from anything guys and i haven't even shared with you the staple to this entire redesigned dining room space it's amazing how one thing can create a totally new look and feel in your space so now that we have all of the plates in place let's continue to layer on guys i was on a recent TJ Maxx run, just out scavenging, trying to find little detail pieces to finish off the looks. And how perfect are these pumpkin terrain? They're actually soup terrains. They, the lids do come off, and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous for the setting. I only needed two, and that's all they had. And I love it when a good plan comes together. So now to complement those guys, I have this collection of acorns that I picked up from Hobby Lobby several seasons ago. And I love bringing them out. They have been styled all over my home in different ways. But this year, we're going to place them on top of the dinner where it says every other one. The salad place that have the pumpkin design, I did not want to obstruct from that. So we're going to place these on top of the leaf salad plates. 
and it is just oh so gorgeous loving how it's coming together so in efforts to not compete with the dinnerware set i wanted to bring in just a subtle stemware to this grouping and so i love bringing out my monogram wine goblets whenever possible they have that beautiful brassy gold detail and it's just perfect for this look and again we're keeping the stem where simple yet elegant so in comes the infamous goodwill fine guys i picked these up for a whopping 25 cents each i love the detail and the shape of the goblets they're absolutely perfect in that they're clear they do not compete with the taste table setting they just perfectly complement the rest of the pieces in the look and that's the key to good design knowing when to edit and illustrate looks that are complementary and not competing with each other and now guys this is the catalyst for the entire change these beautiful robert stanley iridescent napkins they are just absolutely perfect and when i saw them my creative wheel started turning i remembered the cognac colored stems that i had already in the house i remembered just little pumpkins that i had that would complement the look and so everything began to beautifully come together from the wall art to the centerpiece the placemats and the napkins everything just complements each other perfectly the golden white it's grounded with this beautiful cognac hue all the while the gold it's speaking its own beautiful language and as i am finishing up this look guys i am so so loving how each piece just came together beautifully to create layers upon layers of fall luxurious perfection and i could not have put this mix match design together any better if i had sat down and laid it out but all of these just kind of fell in place and it fell in place beautifully if i do say so myself All right, guys, so to finish out the look, I shopped my stash and I found these beautiful cognac color chiffon napkins I've had from Pure One for many, many years. And I had them adorned with a leaf napkin ring from Totally Dazzled. I absolutely love, guys, just how this has all come together. And let this be inspiration to you that if you do not have a complete setting for your dining setting or your entertainment setting consider mixing and matching just play well with the colors as long as the colors complement and the patterns coordinate you can create a beautiful design time after time And now, without any further ado, I present to you Tennessee Whiskey, Dining Room Edition. Enjoy! You did that, yeah, you crossed the line about a thousand times and I did that. Yeah, I stayed a while, tried to make it right, cigarette. No, I never smoke, but my heart is broke, explosive Stressing for that old thing back, back, back That initial love, all the goosebumps Those factors in my gut Turn into disgust, what a waste of love Babe, I just wanna Just because Tell me where we went wrong Started that 
out as homies Ended up as lovers How they get so ugly Can't we rediscover, baby What it was Or well, let's be honest It was just a lover You were so romantic We were picture perfect So much freaking passion Why we never got it back, baby Just a love bomb Really wish you didn't push me away I was willing to try long as it takes I would never say we were a mistake But fleeting romance does in a lifetime That initial play All the goosebumps Those letters in my gut
beautiful formal dining edition or no i absolutely love the way the tennessee whiskey warmed up the space for this season now in this series guys i have given you a variety of colors to choose from everywhere from your olive greens to your modern and sleek black tennessee whiskey even gave you a splash of my signature blue family and the cerulean theme and there's one more space that i have to style with you guys I am absolutely thrilled to share with you the entryway, the formal living. It is chef kiss in my opinion. So you guys hit those notification bells, click them twice because there's yet maybe one and a possible more videos for this styling season. Then we'll wrap it all up with a beautiful fall home tour and you don't want to miss it. So guys, until the next video, I want you all to stay safe, remain royal, and until you click on and meet with me again, have yourselves a blessed and beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.